grab a kettlebell, especially if you're just starting out, make sure it's light. You don't even have to use a kettlebell for this first time. Toes will point forward, feet are a little bit wider than my hips. I'm going to sit back and take my hands onto my knees. Relax my shoulders. You want to make sure you have from the crown of the head into the pelvis nice and flat. So your spine is straight, almost as if you're in plank position. And then here my hips are pressing back, knees are bent, driving into my heels. This is our deadlift in the legs, plank through the upper body. I'm going to reach for that kettlebell. Just reach your fingertips. And then you're going to thrust your hands back. Reach it forward, thrust it back. Do that five to ten times, and you really want to feel the back of your legs here, imprinting that muscular strength right before you stand up, understanding that's where this movement is coming from. We're going to progress from there, so I'm reaching my fingertips forward, thrusting it back, standing up, back and up, back and up. You want to understand the pushing of the hips back, all my weights in my heels, and then I'm standing all the way up. I'm going to encourage you guys not to start with reaching your hands out in front of you because that's going to be just a product of how strong your legs are. So when you stand up, the kettlebell is going to go forward. Your swing is a forward motion, so it's going to either go probably stomach height if you're just starting out shoulder height. If we're consistently getting a little higher than that, you need to be going with a higher weight. So <clears throat> back to reaching for the kettlebell. Thrust it back, stand it up. When you've done that five to ten times and you feel comfortable, maybe grab onto the weight. And you're just starting to swing back and forth. Back, forward, five to ten reps. You see I'm rocking forward and back, the weight in my feet being distributed between my heels and the front of that foot. And I'm never unloading through my heels. Got it down in front, stand it up. Important to always return your kettlebell to the same place you grabbed it from. Okay. Last part is that full swing all the way back to the top. in front. Make sure you guys are doing five to ten reps, especially in the beginning. Do as many sets of that as you need to until you feel comfortable and then move on to the next step. Make sure you're breathing. My breathing is really loud. It should be because it's an explosive movement. Okay. Make sure you take care of those hands. I'll see you guys in the next video.